Byron, why did you ultimately decide to sign with the Chicago Bears? What was it about the organization, the team that made you want to sign with them? Uh, they reached out, uh, reached out to my agents and uh, going to give me the great opportunity to be able to come here and compete and uh, play with a young quarterback, with young receivers, uh, be, be able to get the guys, uh, the receivers, some, some uh, like basically that leadership role in the receiver room. Next question, Hub. Hey, Byron, welcome to Chicago, buddy. Um, you've been with Ryan Poles your whole time in Kansas City. Uh, how, how well do you actually know Ryan, and how big a factor was that in your decision to come to Chicago? Oh, yes, sir. I was I was so happy when, when Chicago called me, and uh, I knew Ryan Poles had done left uh, at the end of the season in, uh, in Kansas City, and uh, – I just knew, like, he's he a great guy. I always seen him around the facility in Kansas City. He always spoke to me. I always spoke to him. And uh, he always had that same positive energy uh, when I see him in the locker room, I mean, inside the facility. Um, he's a great dude. He's a great dude. And he, and he always – he I'm always in the, the facility first, and I always run past him when I'm coming out getting breakfast. So that's why I always end up seeing Pose in Kansas City. But – uh, when he reached out to me, he called me with coach, and uh, I knew I was going to be coming to Chicago. Next question, Chris Emma. Byron, uh, obviously Ryan Poles got to know you as a player really well in Kansas City. What do you think he saw in you that made you a fit for what the Bears are trying to build here? Uh, somebody that will come to work every day, uh, ready to compete at a high level, and uh, just have that mentality, that one and no mentality of coming to win. I don't care about no numbers. I want that that letter at the end of the at the end of the game, the W. Next question, Pat Finley. Byron, you were playing with Patrick Mahomes, uh, uh, who who's uh, at the very very high end of quarterbacks. What role did quarterback play in deciding where you wanted to go next, and what specifically uh, grabbed you about Justin Fields? Oh man. Uh, Justin Fields, I've seen him here, an elite quarterback. He keeps his legs uh, alive. He definitely know how to extend plays, and that's something that I did in Kansas City. Uh, when the play broke down, I always try to find a, get in the quarterback uh, vision. So with him uh, being able to keep play drives alive, uh, I know I, I fit perfect in this offense, especially with a quarterback like Justin Fields. And a passing offense like the Chiefs, is that a hard one to lead? Yes, sir. You are. <laughs> it's, it's speed. It's speed over there, you know, and uh, you got you to stay with it. And uh, it's a great offense in Kansas City as well. Next question, Zach Pearson. Hey, Byron. Um, you've kind of had an interesting journey to the NFL. You went undrafted, um, practice squad, got hurt, and then finally got your chance. What was that all like? Can you kind of talk us through that? And when you finally got your chance, you know, how was it for you? Uh, when I went in undrafted, I said, uh, whatever team signed me, uh, I'm going in, giving it my all. And uh, unfortunately, last preseason game in Kansas City, my uh, rookie year, I ended up pulling my hamstring. And uh, I wasn't I wasn't down. Uh, when I had to find out that I had to have surgery on my hernia, that was really, like, brought me down a little bit, but I figured like, I'm here for a reason. They, they kept me in the meetings, not just doing rehab and just go home. They kept me in the meetings. Uh, I knew I was something special then. And I just kept that mindset, like, don't worry about the person on the side of you, in front of you or behind you. Just keep, keep looking forward and keep going. And uh, just hard work, you know, hard work pays off and uh, just stay focused at the task at hand. You know, and that's and to me is winning games and being a great teammate, uh, uh, a great player for the coaches to coach. Uh, and just all around uh, uh, a great teammate on and off the field. Next question, Nick Moriana. Iron, have you had any discussions with Luke Getze or Tyke Tolbert um, yet? And if so, how did those go? Yes, I had, I had talked to him, but uh just welcome me in you know uh i'm still learning this, the the uh, facility and, and and meeting coaches and stuff 
So I'm still just moving around right now. Next question, Hob. Byron, uh, you, you had some issues as a young man and, and have done a really impressive job of turning your life around and becoming a role model uh, for young people. Is there any, are there any individuals or was there any kind of moment that, that, that the light went on for you? What, what do you credit that, that really impressive turnaround to? Uh, can you, can you repeat, uh, repeat that one? Yeah, I, I know you had some issues as a young man and then done, have done a pretty impressive job of turning your life around, becoming a role model for young people. It, it's a great story. And I'm wondering, um, are there any individuals or was there any specific moment where the light kind of went on? What, what do you credit that turnaround to? Uh, I, I credit it to myself because without me, I would never, uh, it would never happen, you know? Uh, nobody would never hold my hand and uh, tell me to, to, to get on the straight path. But when I called Andre Coleman up, uh, he was my receiver coach at Kansas State. When I called him up and let him know that I wanted to play football again, I would give credit out to him and his family and Coach Snyder uh, and Kansas State uh, coaches and staff that was on the when I came there uh, for bringing me in. Uh, other than that, I just give credit to myself and I thank them for the opportunity that they gave me to be able to come back and play ball again. I, I read one report uh, about how just thrilled your mom was when you got your degree. Uh, can, can you talk about that moment at all? Well, I, I, I keep going out. Can you say it again? I'm sorry. I, I read one report about how thrilled your mom was when you got your college degree. Uh, can, can you talk about that moment at all? Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it's funny, but it's not funny. But uh, um, she came into Kansas uh, to the, the graduation. And as they did about to get ready to call my name, some happened. Some uh, happened to her. She fainted or whatever. She's just so happy. She she had fainted in the in, in the stand. So it's big coming from her. You know, uh, I'm the baby boy, and uh, I got the college degree. I was the first one to get a college degree. So it was like a big accomplishment to her and also to me as well. But it was it was sad, but it was you know it was like a moment I'll never forget because the, the joy and, and how happy she was for me, for her to faint like that, because I get happy now and I still didn't, I still don't faint. So she must, was having the jitters or something. She was, she was turned, that's what I'm gonna call it. She was turned up too much. She had to just calm down a little bit. Next question, Chris Emma. I mean, you mentioned some of the things that you've seen of Justin Fields. I, I assume just kind of studying film or whatever you've done to, to get a, a sense of him. But uh, what do you see as his potential with a receiver like you and with the, the pieces that the Bears are putting around him? Oh, man, I, I, I come to play. You know, I can't speak for every man, but I come to play. And uh, I'm pretty sure, like you've seen on film, Justin Fields come to play. And uh, I'm just come here to, to execute the, the material that, been given, that will be given to us.